When it comes to growing a sport's popularity, momentum is key. And what better place to see netball flourish than in Loughborough, where the England Roses are preparing for the World Cup in South Africa this summer. It's a title in their sights, but never has it been in their grasp, as coach Jess Thilby is well aware. It's a brutal tournament. Uh, there's no netballer in the world that ever plays eight games in 10 days of this level. So, it, um, And we know that challenge, but we really embrace it and we see such opportunity to do something that no Roses team has done before, which is to get into that World Cup final. It was in Liverpool where England took home bronze at the last World Cup in 2019. A big moment for fans and the sport. It's events like the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, which help put sport like netball firmly on the map. After football, it's the second largest female team sport in England, with more than half a million women and girls playing every single week. But this sport hasn't always had a rosy reception. We've always had so many girls and women in this country playing um, but I think it just didn't have that recognition when I first started playing like our league was the county system so we just have our friends and family and the dog watching uh, and now it's been shown by lots of different channels and the world can see it. it's a global game. But there's still a way to go. A study by Women in Sport last year found over 60% of girls will have left sport by the time they finish puberty. Feeling judged and body image were just some of the reasons why. I think for any barrier to a sport, we want to be able to talk about it, and work through that and offer support and education around ways for girls and women to get back into the game if they did feel a time where they wanted to step away. We want to be able to provide that the support and education so that there are no barriers um, for people participating in the game. The Roses will be hoping to break some records and barriers at Nepal's biggest international tournament. And it's not just England. Scotland and Wales will also compete. But can anyone stop the likes of Australia and Jamaica? The England Roses might feel a little thorny if they don't. Bradley Harris, 5 News, Loughborough.